College Football 25 release date inches closer and closer. It's just a few days to a week, depending on whether or not you paid for early access to the game. And one of the important parts of the most popular mode in here, in Dynasty mode, is realignment and rebuilding the conferences. Here are some of the options that you have when you're doing this, and some of the key things that I think you could do that could make your Dynasty a lot more fun, depending on what your preferences are. You could rebuild the Pac-12, completely restore it, put it back to its proper glory, get those 10 defectors, cram them back into the Pac-12 conference where they belong. This is what the football purists will do. People that know the great injustice that was done to Washington State and Oregon State. I have a feeling this is going to be one of the most popular initial dynasty moves. Is people just looking to go back to a sense of normalcy with West Coast football, having those 12 teams all out in the Pacific Coast. That's kind of one of the the good things about having this game back is we can do that and at least be just a little bit more okay even though reality is very disappointing in this regard. But you might be a realist and think that's not very realistic just to rebuild the Pac-12. That's not going to happen with how teams care about money and all that stuff right now. So instead what you could do is revamp the Pac-12 and weaken the ACC. Sort of a more realistic pathway taking Clemson, Florida State, uh, Virginia, North Carolina, some of those teams that are rumored to be headed to either the Big Ten, SEC, and most recently the Big 12, leaving the ACC as a shell of itself and then causing schools like Stanford, Cal, and SMU to defect from the ACC, the now weakened ACC, and go, eh, we can't really afford to be here, let's go back to the Pac-12. Then you would have to rebuild the Pac-12, the rest of it, with some solid group of five schools, maybe some Mountain West schools, teams that make a little bit more geographic sense into the Pac-12. This gives you a little bit of a revived Pac-12, just with kind of a completely different set of teams, a weakened ACC, and then of course a stronger SEC or Big Ten or Big 12. This is more realistic, this is more likely where realignment is headed, but it allows you at least to do something with those two teams just kind of sitting idly in the Pac-12. If you're a college football old head, you could just completely rebuild the Big East and the Southwest Conference. Now, it would require you to replace some of the other conferences. You can't change the conference name, so maybe turning the Big 12 into the Southwest and the American into the Big East, but just rebuilding some classic, iconic conferences in college football. Maybe throwing in some extra teams to get a nice rounded 12 so you can have divisions, or maybe sticking it at 10 so there's no divisions and everyone plays each other like the old Big 12. But just looking at it, it just looks right, it just feels right, and it takes you back to a much simpler, more chaotic time in college football that was really quite enjoyable. And if this is the football you remember and the football you want to relive in this game, you now have the opportunity to do so. If you're more into European soccer, you could do something and create a promotion and relegation system. Even if you're not into soccer and you just think a system like that would really work in college football, put it to the test. There's no way for you to automatically set it up to where they relegate and promote teams. You would just manage that every offseason by re-customizing the conferences. Let's say you set up the SEC and Sunbelt to be the Tier 1 and Tier 2 of itself. Something would happen where, let's say, Vanderbilt and Florida are the bottom two teams in the SEC, and then you've got the top two in the Sun Belt in, like, App State or Texas State. You would just flop those teams around and have them compete in their specific conferences. It would provide a clear avenue for those group of five schools to get promotion into a power conference and greatly improve their chances at getting a playoff spot. It's something that I know people feel belongs in college football. It's probably never, ever going to happen in real life, so you might as well just embrace it in video game form. It's the darkest path that college football could take, but if you're into it, you're into it. You could create a super league in college football 25 and just take like 16 to 20 of the best teams, best programs in college football, put them all into one super conference where pretty much the rest of the college football world doesn't matter because whoever's winning the super conference is most likely winning the national title. This could be a way to make it feel like every week matters to you. It would suck the soul out of the game if it happened in real life, but could be fun in video game form, especially if you're needing a challenge and wanting to play nothing but high caliber programs every single week. Lastly, and most importantly, you can just do whatever you want. It doesn't matter. The world is your oyster. This video game puts the power into you, the fans' hands. And in a world of so much uncertainty and realignment and college sports in general, having some certainty in your own little world can be comforting. You want to put Ohio in a disgustingly stacked super conference where you have a horrible matchup every single week, 
be my guest. You want to take Toledo and put them into the heart of the Big Ten? That's also something you can do. The possibilities are completely endless, and you can really do whatever you want to have the best experience for you. But there it is. All your possibilities you can do. Let me know what are some other things that you plan on doing in this game realignment-wise, and how are you going to make this game fun for yourself and as maximum fun as possible. I know we've all been waiting for such a long time. As I'm recording this video, we are like three to four days away. I am unbelievably hyped. I hope you guys are too, and I will see you guys later this week.